Okay then gang, so now we have a fully working sortable list of chapters and the chapter numbers are updated now whenever we rearrange them, which is awesome. However, there is one small thing I'd like to do and that is to add a little visual signal to these chapters that you can reorder them by dragging and dropping or something because right now it's not really immediately obvious but when we use the sortable library it allows us to specify a particular part of each item that can act as some kind of handle. So only when users drag using that handle do they then get reordered or sorted. And we can also style that handle as well to make it look obvious where a user should drag the items from. So let's do that. So the first thing we need to do is add on a new property to this object where we create the sortable list. And that property is called handle. This allows us to specify a CSS selector for a particular handle in each of the sortable items. So I'm gonna use a class handle. And then we need to make this class, this element, inside each of the items. So let's do that inside the chapters index. And we're going to do this right at the top of each chapter. So this is the kind of container for each chapter. So what I'm going to do is a little div here with the class of handle. Now, I only want to apply this div if the request to grab this content was an HTMX request. Otherwise, these handles are going to show on the standard chapters page when a user doesn't have JavaScript enabled, and I don't want that. So I'm going to embed this in a little if block to say if, and then we want is HTMX. And only if that's the case, do we want to output a div with a class of handle like so. And I'm going to paste in this little burger icon right here as the content, and then we'll end the if. So now only when this content was grabbed using HTMX are we going to show this handle right here. And then finally, I want to style the handle. So let's go to the CSS file and open that up. And I'm just going to copy this from my GitHub repo. We'll paste it down here. So you see this class handle and we say the position is absolute, right zero, top zero, the height is full, flex, item center, justify center, blah, 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 blah. We also specify the cursor to be the grab one, which is like a little hand. So then when you hover over it, a user knows they can click and drag, hopefully. Bit of padding and the background color is great. So let's save this and see what it looks like. And just very quickly before we do that, I did get an error and that's because I've got a typo right here. It should be HTMX, not HMTX. All right, so let's change that, save it and try it again. All right then, and now we can see those handles and if we click and drag one of them, you can see that everything still works as it should. But if we try and drag from elsewhere in the chapters, then it's not gonna work, awesome. Okay, so that's the application in its current state, pretty much done. So hopefully now you can see how easy it is to enhance a Laravel site using HTMX without sacrificing any of the default behavior for users that don't have JavaScript enabled. And also quite like making this application because planning novels, fantasy worlds and all that jazz is something I really enjoy doing in my spare time. So I do plan on making this application even better, adding more features and maybe eventually deploying it so other people can use it. Now, if you want me to turn that process into some kind of series of tutorials or courses, then definitely let me know in the comments and maybe in the next one we can add user accounts or even AI features. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this one and please do not forget to share, subscribe and like. That really helps a lot. And also sign up for a NetNinja Pro account if you want access to even more courses and masterclasses. Anyway, I'm going to see you all in the very next one. So then my friends, I really, really hope you enjoyed this series and you learned something along the way. If you did, please, please, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot. And if you want to access all of my YouTube courses without adverts, also get access to premium courses and early access courses as well, you can do at netninja.dev. You can sign up for NetNinja Pro, which is just $9 a month and also half price for the first month with this promo code right here and for that like i said you get access to every course without adverts without youtube adverts you also get access to exclusive courses not found anywhere else you get access to my premium courses on udemy and also early access to all of my youtube courses as well so the link to this page to sign up is going to be down below again i really hope you enjoyed this series and i'm going to see you in the very next one